to today's vlog and today is gonna be a bit different but before I continue I need you guys to do me a humongous favor please smash that like button and share with all your friends and tell them to sub as well and who knows uh, they may learn a thing or two of what I'm gonna talk about in this video so in this video I'm gonna be talking about uh, the gear that I use uh, for photography and vlogging and also like just videography that I that I do from time to time like I will be explaining which one I really like so I'm gonna be talking about the DSLRs um, I use this one quite often with the SB28 Speedlight Flash and the Tamron uh, 8200 lens, which I really like. This was uh, was my wife's, and uh, we used it as our family camera. And so uh, it's it comes in handy. The lens is great, and uh, and the flash is great. I love it. I got it secondhand, the best price I ever seen online. It was like sixty dollars, uh, almost brand new. So I couldn't pass the offer. And uh, well, like the camera's falling apart. I uh, I kind of used it a lot, and uh, I've had it for a few years already. And I go on a lot of photo shoots, uh, so uh, it, it it kind of tears apart after a while. Uh, it's common, and uh, but for I used I got this one after I sold my Nikon D two hundred. I did not like the video feature on this camera because it, it, it was kind of like, not stable, like it was just like, it was kind of like, it, you saw a line uh, when you edit it on the computer, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. This one, I got it from a friend, I still haven't used it, I can't wait to use it. I'm gonna be using this one, Canon T3i, for all my vlogs. Right now I'm using an iPhone 6s for all my vlogs, but this one is gonna come super handy. I, just, I can't wait for it, especially for the screen right here, and like it's super light. Uh, I, I, I'm just excited to use it. I got it as a gift, and I, I'm super happy with it. I, I just need to get a lens for it and a battery. So it's gonna have to wait. I will review that one pretty soon and I will compare both of these. This one is a this one is a Handycam Sony. Uh, this one is a Handycam Sony HDR CX240. I got this a few years ago because I needed something with a good microphone because this one did not have a microphone input. So I needed that microphone for concerts and whatnot because it's kind of embarrassing that uh, I wanna do videography for concerts and I don't have a camera for concerts. And I do miss doing that. So uh, whenever I need it, I have the camera here. My boys use this one for their YouTube channel and uh, they love it. The quality is great and everything, but I prefer using my iPhone for my vlogging because uh, it comes with iMovie. I, I have this just in case I need to go out for concerts. Um, the camera that I started out with vlogging actually was this one. It was a Samsung S5 Neo. I did not like the microphone on this phone which was a real bummer uh, and the space on this phone wasn't that great either it kept running out of space and no i did not like it at all and and the quality wasn't that great as well on the camera so i give it a thumbs down i did not like that i got the lg g5 phone long story cut short it fell on the floor and it broke and but it, it still works i um it's just too expensive to fix so what what the company recommended me to do was just to get a brand new phone it kind of a bummer because i really like the quality of this phone was just, just too expensive to fix 
I managed to still use it from time to time because I still really like the quality. That's my son, by the way. But I really recommend anybody who wants to start off with vlogging is to start off with your phone. What I did not like about the Android is that it doesn't come with an editing program installed onto your phone. And because of that, you have to transfer everything onto your computer and find a program on Windows that will suit you. Because for me, uh, I use Adobe Premiere and that's a very, very complex program for, uh, to start off with. And there's other programs to start off with too, but a lot of them have watermark because they're free. It's very, very difficult to start editing through the computer you have to know what you're doing and i've 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 been doing it for a very long time since i was 15 years old so i have the patience uh, if you have an iphone that's a great start you could edit everything on imovie and if you don't have an iphone i recommend you looking for a second hand ipod which is still great because it still has the same features as an iPhone and I do recommend that. It's very easy and simple to use and you could carry it around your phone anywhere you want and edit anywhere you want as well. You could be on the bus, you could you could be on a train somewhere, you could be like just anywhere and you could decide, oh, I want to edit my vlogs today. So I, all you need to do is have space on your phone, find time to edit. So that's it for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little video that I made about the gear that I use. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, please comment down below and hit that like button. And I do recommend anybody to do what they want to do. And like, if you want to start vlogging, go for it. If you want to start photography, go for it. If you want to do videography, go for it. I, me, I learned videography on my own. I learned, um... I took photography class. Teacher told me I had the natural eye for photography and that that's a gift in my opinion and not a lot of people have that. So right now I'm taking full advantage of that and using the skill that I have for you guys. Thank you for watching and just one more thing, peace and love.